Hi, welcome to the Doodle Cast. I'm Sean. I'm Pat. I'm Jim the Rooster. <laughs> hey guys, it's been hey. it's been a week. Shut up, Patrick. It's been. I swear, I swear, it's been. I, I will kill you. You don't have to. James is right here. If it's the last thing I do. <laughs> if it's the last thing I do. I, I think this cool. is how the episode's gonna go because, like, I'm a little tired. None of us know what we're gonna talk about, so uh, none of us really know what we're gonna draw. I was thinking, I was like, what has happened in like the last two weeks since we did a show? And I'm like, one week. Why's it been? Wait. It's like no, didn't we week. skip last week? We did. And today is Tuesday. And that's not really much of a second week, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, uh God, so what are we going to do? You know. I'm going to blow my nose, so hold on a moment. This might sound gross on the camera. <laughs> oh god damn it i hate winter it's not winter yet shut up and winter hates you is it not winter yet i don't think so it's coming it's not winter solstice all right i'm uh okay she Tweeting from oh here's something we could talk about i created an official doodle cast twitter yeah people that's should at, at doodle cast show i probably should have put that in the description i'll remember to do that in post if I ever get around to it. Yay. Yay. So. We're, yes. We're live right now. Are you tweeting it? Yeah. And then I'm going to go to my personal Twitter and reblog it. Retweet. Shut. Fuck. <laughs> and retweet it. Oh, this is going to be a goddamn. Oh, it's going to be a goddamn. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it like. Oh shit! I knocked shit over. Whatever. I'm just gonna do a Sean. fuck cat. Yes, dear. Patrick didn't tell you, but this doodle cast, he's not allowed to draw. He's not allowed to draw. I shouldn't be allowed to draw ever. No. This doodle cast. Uh, look, an apple. Well, he's drawing because <laughs> apparently he thinks he's a rebel, but uh, he's about Good. to see where. Is it a pumpkin apple? It's a packle. It's a jackal apple. <laughs> I made myself yeah. laugh. Good job. It's a shiny apple. Honestly, it looks like a lima beam that got stabbed. I was very happy about it. I'm just gonna draw a butt cat real fast. Ah, now the perspective's off. <laughs> Mr. Bill? Okay. So, yeah. What has everybody been up to lately? Uh, nothing. Been working. Let me I... die? <laughs> let, let me dead? What does draw. that say? What? Draw. Let me draw. Alright. Here. Here's a blank canvas. Special guest artist. Jams. 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 If you want, James, this button on the very bottom is your undo. Oh, so cool. now I don't have to do it. Sean, can you still hear us good? I can hear you very can well. You hear, can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't care about you. I'm just, gonna do, I'm just doing a quick butt cat. All right, I'm done with this. I don't even have to draw on the doodle cast. It's not like it's my show or anything. Go ahead. What do you want to draw? See, it's not, not so easy, show. is it, James? It's not your show. Sean, what should I draw? Uh, draw a Transformer. This is what you do to me. I don't know, man. A dinosaur? Okay. Is that a cod piece? Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's see. We could talk about the Flash thing, but neither one of us are animators. Well, now that you mentioned it, I guess we have to talk about it. Yeah. So what, they're um, reading? Branding Flash? Okay. Full disclosure, this was going to be Optimus Prime, but now it's like a Scorpion Batman. I was going to say, oh, it does look, I was going to say like a Batman wearing Bane's mask, but yeah, Scorpion Batman. That's, that's really funny. Scorpion Get Batman. over here. Where's Harvey? 
Scorpion's the one who says get over here, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Patrick, I, have you never played Mortal Kombat? I know May Mays. I've played it literally once. If you say that one more time, I will stab you with this. Literally? <laughs> James, how do you pronounce this brand that makes that makes this monitor? A Wacom. A Wacom. Wacom Sackham Robots. <laughs> so the last time I played Mortal Kombat was a few years ago. I think it was whatever the obviously it was whatever the newest one was at the time. I think it was just called Mortal Kombat. But I was over at a friend's place. He's like, "Hey man, did you play the new Mortal Kombat?" I'm like, no. He's like, "Oh, let's play it. I'll kick your ass in it." I'm like, sure, that's cool. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I beat him like eight matches in a row. <laughs> and I wasn't even like button mashing. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. It's just for some reason, all the stars were aligned. All the planets were in line. If, for some reason, I just finally felt like I belonged. I think I ruined the game for him. <laughs> He's never touched it since. It's very possible. <laughs> Poor guy. But yeah, Adobe announced that Flash, the popular animation software, is now going to be, I guess, rebranded as Adobe Animate. Okay. Which is bas basically meaning like, well, I guess to sum it up, Flash was originally, like, intended to be used to, like, make very simple animations for, like, advertisements on, like, you know, like, those annoying ads that'll be on the side of, like, a blog post or something, be like, click here to buy our shitty product, like, that type of animation. Yeah, I but remember... people used it more for, like, like, cartoon animation, but it's not exactly made for that, so people just kind of had to figure out how to use the tools to do it that way. Well, so now it's actually with... being, it's catering to that that audience. It's the same thing with Photoshop, where originally it was not a drawing art program to create comics or illustrations on. Yeah. I mean, it hell, was... that's why I prefer Manga Studio, because it's actually made for that as opposed to Photoshop. Well, I mean, eventually they kind of like embraced it and added yeah. features to it. But for a time, they actually had Paint Shop, which was the deal for that. Oh, Paint yeah. Shop sucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, I remember. Like I distinctly remember my brother explaining layers to me, or trying to explain layers to me when I'd never done any type of computer drawing before, and I'm just like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" I already knew everything about layers because I had seen Shrek. Okay, I know it didn't pick up, but I immediately stopped what I was doing and looked up at my second monitor where your screen capture is at. With a very you angry me. glare. You shot me a disappointed look. I threw some shade. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know if the I can't remember what we talked about last time, but did I tell you that I had to teach one of my coworkers what throwing shade meant? Like, what's the context here? They just That is know? the context. I just can't remember if it if it happened between like the last doodlecast or whether I would have talked about it or not. Dude, at this point, we're ready to talk about anything because okay. I don't know what well, to talk about. Like, I'm just this coworker is about my age, but a little bit older. So I was kind of surprised that she didn't know what this was because she's pretty like hip to kids lingo these days. With whippersnappers. Before you oh, get man. too far, can you uh, reiterate how oh, last week you didn't know what a catfishing was? Shut up. <laughs> 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 Anyways, bring it at home. Anyways, I I dropped the phrase throwing shade, and she was like, "What?" And I was like, "You don't know what that means?" I was like, "No, what is that?" It's like, "Oh, the throw." It was like one of those moments where I was like, "Oh God, how do I explain it?" <laughs> I was like, "Well, I I I explained it first by saying it's what you do all the time," because she's like a very sarcastic person and like you do, you horrible asshole. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny because I had. The way I explained it to her was, I was like, when you shoot someone like a really angry glare, like to the point where like your forehead is like sloping over and you're casting shade over everyone, and that got her to laugh. But then I actually like wanted to get an actual definition, so I went to Urban Dictionary and looked it up, and it was so funny. Let me just look it up. Should have had this ready. Guys, how's this butt cat look? It's good. Perfect. Sh ah. James! Thank you, James. That's a me type of joke. You're better than this. That was a good joke, James. I like that joke. For real. Proxy. Namasty. 
all right, throw shade, to talk trash about a friend or acquaintance, to publicly denounce or disrespect. When throwing shade, it is immediately obvious to the onlookers that the thrower, and not the throwee, is the bitchy, uncool one. <laughs> That's a hard skill to do. It's easy for some people. Should I, should I try? Oh, I never looked at this. There's a secondary definition. To hate on someone for acting a fool. Should I try and do, like, a drawing to go with that work I did yesterday? Oh, yeah, that was really good. Like, what if I did one of Greg, like, wrapped up in the vines? Yeah. Because it was, I was meant to, I was trying to go, like, a little dark with it. Because it's not an original concept to have it, like, oh, what if work took the, uh, the goddamn lantern? <laughs> A.U. Well... I don't know. I don't know what I'd search to find this. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Just that easy. Too easy. Too easy, baby. Are we Goodbye. are we doing an Austin Powers impression now? That was not. I don't even know, man. I I don't care about life anymore. Things aren't great. <laughs> Things aren't great. <laughs> Things are okay. <laughs> Let's nice butt chin. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll try and do something here. Without it. See, here's the problem. I'm like kind of looking straight at my reference. So I'm pretty sure this is not what I'm going to settle on. Yeah. Let's move that up. Blip. Oh, I know what we should talk about. But, but. I was just waiting for a response. Uh. <laughs> We should really look into, like, a, a, a workable way for us to both stream on Twitch. Because then if we had, like, an official Doodlecast Twitch where both of our screens could be on screen at the same time. And, like, the only problem... Like, we can do it because I crashed your stream that one time. But the only problem with it was that it wasn't synced up right. So, like... I wasn't. I was like seeing things way later than it was actually happening. So it just made like talking. doing more than just audio. Yeah, like if there was a way for us. Well, what I said to James earlier was, if there was a way for Skype to have screen sharing, it'd be no problem because then we could just find a way to, you know, stream while capturing like a Skype window or something. Right. Like in some way, so that both of our screens could be on screen at the same time, and we could both see it in real time without it being out of sync. Because it, it just makes it difficult to talk to each other when we're, like, about each other's art if we're not seeing the same thing that we're drawing. No, that so makes there, sense. Yeah, so, like, if there was a way to fix that, then that would be really interesting. Mostly because I just think streaming on Twitch is, like, a really cool platform right now, and that would, but more people would probably see it, and we can always export it to YouTube, so we get both. Yeah, I... I've been having fun doing some of mine. I didn't do one yesterday because Sunday was not a good drawing day for me at all. I was not happy with anything I was accomplishing. I still want to get into doing some solo streams sometime. You should. I'd jump in on that shit. I know you would, but no one else would. No, I would. No. <laughs> that, that's that's the sound of someone who knows that they're lying to themselves. No, no, uh, it would. Uh, I no. Oh, uh, what if I put the rock down there, Johnson? Like, like it was just abandoned, Johnson? No, you fucking asshole! I swear, I'm gonna oh, find where you live. Johnson. I'm gonna find where you live. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke anymore. Now that we've all know his dick looks like. <laughs> and what? <laughs> Who are we talking about? I don't even know anymore, man. Does this work? I, I, I feel like I, I need to do something in this middle area, but I'm not quite sure what. Maybe I just add another branch. Have them crisscross. Only 90 kids get that reference. I know I just said only 90 kids instead of 90s, so, but, you know, ever since the Great War of the 90s, only 90 of them have been left. Only 90 kids. I just thought of something we could do for a conversation. Yes. 
No. Did you say pomegranates? Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, we could uh, do more art questions. Oh, sure, I'll yeah. But I'll ask them. Like right. make up, making up your own questions? Are you going or... to draw while you ask, or am yeah. I going to draw? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm just sitting this one out tonight. <laughs> James you is draw? I, I don't know what to draw. You're, exactly. You're saving me right now. <laughs> That wasn't so much a question as another chance to put you down, Patrick. <laughs> I've okay. always said it. It's like my biggest struggle doing Doodlecast is that I can talk and I can draw. Doing both at the same time doesn't work that well. I need more practice at that. Which oh, I'm not sure. before tonight, I, so whatever. Before we get into this business, uh, Patrick McHale liked that drawing I did. The one you did yesterday? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. So, oh, James, you got some art questions? Are you drawing an anime eye? No. Uh, what's your favorite medium? Ooh. It it really goes back and forth with me. Like, I'll get in the mood to do a bunch of traditional, and then I'll get in the mood to do a bunch of digital, and lately I've been in a digital mood. Like, I haven't even touched my uh, Prisma colors inside of, like, two weeks now. Wow. Because <laughs> I've just gotten... I, I just, like... Well, I'm going to go home and draw that, or because I've been doing those streams too. That's all I've really been wanting to do. Yeah. So um, right now, I'm I'm a digital baby. Yeah, my like my preferred medium has always been digital, just because I guess that's sort of what I taught myself the most with. Like, it's just what I'm most comfortable with. What's this button? Do? I don't know why. What it do? I just hit it. Just undo. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. As far as traditional mediums go, I guess I'm a simple boy, and I like pen and ink. Like I, mostly because that's what I used to like always draw with. I never experimented with color in my drawings because I was too scared because I'm not good at color theory. That's why I made it a point to try to teach that to me to myself this year. But just pen and ink, like just brush pens or like dip pens, is what I. I really like dip pens. That's why I bought those new nibs and shit. What the hell are you mean like dipping in ink? Yeah. Oh, it's like inkwell pens. Like nib pens, yeah. Okay. I never I've never heard it referred to as dip pens. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Wesley's in the stream. Wesley! Hey Wesley. <laughs> Says Das Doodlecast is good. Ah. I don't I don't speak German. Wesley, I apologize for the uh the uh art happening on uh, Patrick's screen right now. I always apologize for the art happening on Patrick's screen at every <laughs> given moment. I think I got something going here. I'm liking it. Yeah. You got a thing. Are you recreating that drawing? No. <laughs> the you're wrong drawing? No, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> What's the you're wrong drawing? But, uh, oh, oh okay. does Sean not? No, no, you tweeted it. He should know. Let me... Yeah, see well, if you can uh, find it. Uh, it's going you to could send it to him. Well, yeah, I'll send yeah, it just, to him. Send it to me later. Yeah, okay, that's right. Whatever. But, uh, okay, <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> what's, uh... Okay, those are your guys' medium. What are some... Hmm. Like uh, what I'm trying to think. Like, what are some uh, things art-wise that you wish you had but you don't necessarily own? What, like supplies? Yeah. A gigantic Cintiq. <laughs> you have a gigantic Cintiq. I want the motherfucking 27-inch bitch. <laughs> they make a bigger one? I th yeah. I think it's what? a 27. Why the hell would you want so Why would you want that much power? <laughs> I like big screens, man. Look, don't judge me. I like big. Don't kink shame me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna look this up right now. Like, what the fuck does that yeah, even? It's gigantic. Look? It's like it's fucking immovable. Like once you set it on your desk, it's not going anywhere. Does that look right? Inch. Yeah. I mean, I'm at a weird angle, but it looks good. Well, yeah, it looks good. Right. You're wrong. Are you sure? What about on the, uh, say, Are you uh, sure it's not just called twenty-seven QHD? QHD, yeah. That's it's what it's about twenty on... twenty inches. It's the same as the big one. What? If anything, like, no, I. There's no way they make a twenty-seven inch one. What about you, Sean? Supply-wise, uh, uh, on the digital front, I guess. This twenty five hundred dollars. No, that's still the same as the big one. Wacom Cintiq twenty seven QHD graphics tablet. 
Yes. I'll, I'll get back to this in a moment, James. You understand I have to prove him wrong. Oh, I have an Amazon listing right here, bitch. What is the what does the dimension say on it? Oh, God. oh, thanks. That's a helpful description. That is not oh, I don't think go. twenty-seven means it's twenty-seven inches. Oh, maybe it's not then. I haven't actually looked at this. <laughs> 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 Wait, here we go. Here it is. Go on. It's Point three by thirty point three by two point one inches. All right, and Fuck what's off. the size of the current centi? How do I copy this? Um, do I have see. a rule here? What the one of these is which? I think you might just have to go up to edit. Okay, edit, copy, and then edit, paste. All right, um, what's the what's the width on it? Twenty-two. By 16 and a half. Why is it not pasting? Yeah, it's about the same as this. What do you mean? If, if it's bigger, it's not bigger by much. Well, whatever. Fucking 30 inches. It's, it's not gigantic like you're thinking it is. Maybe it's a different model. Because I know, like, I've seen pictures of them, and it, like, takes up an entire desk. Well, the current centi giant Cintiqs take up, like, the entire desk. So, James, uh, art supplies. Um, oh, wait. You know, I'm pretty happy with, like... S hold on. Someone in the uh, chat... Are you moderating the chat and drawing and talking? Oh, here. Oh, you can moderate. 27 QHD screen is 27 inches. Lol. By Nang Man C. Uh, that's John. Ah, hey, John. Yeah, but that's not... If that's any bigger than the big Cintiq, it's not by much. <laughs> the, the point I'm trying to make here is... Is that I'm wrong. Well, that... <laughs> well, <laughs> always. And also mean? that you're just being selfish. It's facing on top. Need the fucking move tool. So anyways, yes, art supplies, I would like. Um, you know, I'm pretty much set on like the stuff I like to do. It's really just acquiring duplicates or slightly more variations of. But for a long time, I have wanted to do sort of like traditional painting stuff. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. traditional, but you know, like, I, it's no secret we all have an affinity for Bob Ross. Yep. So I've almost kind of wanted to do stuff like that, but like that stuff then get gets or gets really pricey. Yeah, that's why every time I go to the art store, I'm making like small purchases. Are you trying to flip the canvas? I'm trying to flip this. Flip that. Okay. Edit. Um, transform. Flip horizontal. There you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> what? I said it has to die now. Oh, okay, well, you gotta, like, now. Or, yeah, there you go, okay. <laughs> it's fun teaching James all, it's all, all these tricks. Oh, but yeah, to also add on to my art supplies things that I want, like, I want all the Copic markers. I really regret buying my small 36 set, because I'm like, it seems that with Copic markers that all the sets have a lot of duplicates of the same colors. Like, if I were to try buying the 72 set now, a lot of them are just duplicates of the one I have, the ones I have in my 36 set. So I'm like, what yeah. the fucking shit? What like, I, I should have just bought the 72 set, then I would have had more to start with. Honestly, it's not that bad to have those kinds of duplicates. And really, I don't regret buying my 24 count set originally, because by the time I acquired more which my friend John, who was just in the chat to try and shame me, <laughs> uh, he bought me a 72-count set, I believe. I, I guess mm -hmm. Prisma Color sells about the same type of deal there. That, yeah, the so, a lot of them were duplicates, but there was a lot of new colors in there, too. And by the time I yeah, got the to it, I was from, I'm not done, Patrick. <laughs> by the time you, I you got... Go your ahead. mic went quiet. Did it? Well, that's not my fault. That's your fault. Yeah, shut up. 
but by the time I had gotten to it, I was familiar enough with them that they didn't get wasted. Hmm. Well, my I problem knew. with Copics is that they're refillable. So like buying a duplicate pen is kind of wasteful because like buying the refill inks will like refill them like seven times. Apparently you can refill Prismacolors too, just with like rubbing alcohol. Oh, I've heard about that. I've, I've seen like YouTube videos, like people hacking their markers and be like, oh, how to cheat the system and refill your markers, even though they're, te they're technically not. Because the ink, the ink and all those are like exactly the same, right? It's just the nib on it's what actually gives it the color. I or guess I, so. Or am I, I completely off? I have no idea. I've That's never my done it to class one of those shaming Sean. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, is John to Sean what Sean is to Pat? Um... Uh, well, we do respect each other, so there is that. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got any more art questions? Are you still working on this face? Are you having trouble drawing the other eye? Patrick, don't change just, just draw it. Just draw it. No, 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 no. Like, this is a tip, like, I had to learn. Like, don't fucking look for, like, shortcuts. Just draw it. Is that a, you can have them flip the screen. I tried that. It did not turn out oh. too good. You know, flipping the screen helps because then you just gotta draw the same exact eye you did before, and that works. So, so you just, meant the screen in general. Yeah. yeah. Edit. Yeah, kind of like this thing. Boop. Hmm. Oh wait, no, it's under view. Uh... Oh, I thought you had it switched to a hotkey on the Cintiq. I do, but I want to teach James. You can teach him just rotate invert. <laughs> Flip horizontal. There you go. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. When somebody teaches somebody something in like woodshop, they don't give them like the old timey power tools. <laughs> Why not? Uh, you gotta figure out the old way. Polio? What? Back in my day, we used to put metal on our legs. Deal with it that way. <laughs> Can't believe you and James to get polio. It's really cute. Every time James draws, he always starts humming. Like he gets into his little zone. James is an adorable little boy. Yeah. James, are you okay with me saying that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this first curse. Goo goo gaga, bitch. <laughs> uh, as far as. Things to talk about. It's my birthday tomorrow. Wow, wait, really? we make everything about you. Yeah. Like, woo. <laughs> we, ate, we ate cake. Dude, it's I didn't know your birthday cake. was like tomorrow. What the hell? Why didn't you tell me? What? Why didn't you tell me your birthday was tomorrow? I don't know. I didn't want to make a big deal about it until I mentioned it on our show. Well, then you shouldn't have said anything at all, like me. I never talk about my birthday. <laughs> I don't want to remember. I really don't. I don't care for my birthday at all. <laughs> That's why you won't get it out of me. It's not hard it's to find out. It's only exciting for me because this is the first year like since I've had my job that I won't be working on my birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have actually going on two years in a row where I won't have to work on my birthday. Hmm. Next year on the unnamed, unnamed day. <laughs> it's okay. John doesn't know my birthday. <laughs> we're friends, but we're not that good of friends. <laughs> wow. What? Uh, go ahead, Sorry, he just what? goes into the chat and posts like your 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 name, full name, address, phone number, social number, birthday, yeah. <laughs> social security number, everything. Oops. <laughs> God damn it! I don't know how this tree is coming out. I don't know if I like it. I like it. That's a good treat. We do this leaf and I'll work on Greg. Gerg. Greg. Gerg. Oh no, it's a sad face. Uh, oh, now it's kind of angry. But yeah, as far as like art supplies, I'm I'm the type of person where if I go into an art store that I haven't been to a million goddamn times, and it's actually a pretty good store. I could stay in there for quite a long time just looking around at stuff. 
just walking around, like looking in aisles of stuff that I'd have absolutely zero interest in. But it's just like, oh, what do they have over here? What do they have over here? Yeah, when I first went to uh, the local art store around here, it was like I was even looking in like the clay and modeling section, even though that's not what I'm into at all. Just being like, wow, they got all this shit. Buy clay by the lumps. I can buy a lot of clay. I remember going into this hobby shop that's no longer around by me and be like, wow, they don't have it, but they have a placeholder for uh, this stuff called epoxy sculpt, which is what I've used like on a lot of my prop projects. <laughs> and it's like, wow, that's awesome that they carry it. I'd never buy it here because they probably overcharge like hell for it. <laughs> and then when they finally did carry it, it's like, yep, they do. <laughs> Wowie. Wowie zowie. Actually, I went to, uh, they opened up a Pat Catan's in a, another town that's only like five minutes farther than the one I usually go to. So I was excited to go to that, only to find it's like, oh, they carry an even less selection of the stuff I'm into. <laughs> well, I'll never go here again. <laughs> and I have yet to. I still can't wait for the next time I go to this art store, now that I know that they have Copic markers. <laughs> I can't believe they've always been hidden in that back corner this whole time, and I just never saw them. Uh, they have them at Michael's, but they can. There's if you ever buy anything from Michael's, take out your cell phone, go to their website because there's usually like a fifty percent off coupon hidden somewhere around there. Hmm. There's no reason to pay full price for a single item at Michael's. <laughs> Especially because they overcharge it. I know what you're doing, James. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what that was. Uh, <laughs> so do we have any more art questions? Yeah, off the top of your head. Off the top of my head. Uh, this may have been answered on that old questionnaire, but like, what was... It's a two-parter. What was your... Uh, first inspiration to go into art and then when was the moment you knew that it was something that you wanted to do oh god i think that question is like what like quantifies wanting to go into art like how do you know that moment uh well i mean we all start when we're kids so we have a good time with that yeah like what's that quote it's like we're all artists when we're kids it's just a matter of like staying an artist when you grow up i mean I, I guess it like, probably has to come with, like, if you were a fan of cartoons or if you were a fan of comics or what have you. Yeah, that's, like, I watched a lot of Disney movies, and I watched a lot of, like, Nickelodeon. So, I don't know, I just really liked that, and one, like, I was into that. Uh, yeah, because, like, I was into comic books and animation, but I'd say probably more towards comic books than anything else when I was younger. And I don't know, that, that was probably like the first thing that got me into it. Like, what? Well, yeah, sorry, kid, sorry I, for the boring answer. <laughs> as a kid, I was probably like, oh, you know, I really want to draw comic books when I get older. Now that I'm older, I'm like, the last thing I want to do is draw comic books. <laughs> I just want to like draw pictures now. <laughs> I still would really love to like, do a cartoon it's just i don't want to have anything to do with the animating animation whatever it's just animation's hard man and i don't have the patience for it well, that's why you hire it out and someone else does it yeah colin hit me up oh how to call it i saw you actually already got that book for him yeah i got him for Christmas, I got him the um, Art of Porco Rosso book. He was so surprised. It was awesome. So he didn't, I, what was our biggest fear was that he already had it? Yeah, he doesn't. Well, he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and I told that to him, too. I was like, I was seriously worried you already had it. <laughs> In which case, you could have re-gifted it? <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> your friend. Your charitable friend. <laughs> yeah, it, his reaction was adorable, though. He was like, what? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. I could hug you. <laughs> I'm not going to because I'm not a crazy <laughs> person. It was, it, was, uh, 
That's awesome. He, he was so like happy. That. Does Colin know that we were all online, like trying to find him the perfect gift? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> still what, time. Are, you, are you like taking this as your own victory? It's like, yep, I found it on my own. I just don't want to talk about that other thing we were thinking about getting him. <laughs> Which was obviously the superior gift. He knows what it is. He said those messages, remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he, he, he'll be able to guess. Well, seeing as how we are a sh doing this for a show and not for our own gags, we should probably say what it was. Okay. <laughs> We're browsing eBay, and we found this goddamn weird-ass Homer Simpson doll. Which does just... not narrow down the field, honestly, because Simpson's was... merchandise is terrifying. It is. If you look at, like, vintage Simpson doll... God, they are horrifying. But I think what was mostly horrifying about this one was just the the cinematography. He was standing in his underwear. Over top of a Marge. A tiny doll, Marge. Like, overlooking a Marge doll. And then the second picture was him facing away from it. It was so funny. Oh my god, that was so good. And, like You guys saw me. Well, Sean. Well, James saw me. I was yeah. like in tears laughing that night. I could not. It was so fucking funny to me. I think we all needed that tonight. I know I needed that. God damn. <laughs> well, no, the joke started because you said that. <laughs> we're like, well, what does Colin collect? Oh, he collects uh, Homer Simpson dolls. <laughs> well, that's only because I'm pretty sure he has at least one Homer Simpson doll and just like, a collection of like, I don't know, weird shit that he has. So we're like, so I'm picturing this like giant, massive, comprehensive collection of Homer Simpson dolls. <laughs> Just nothing but. Which I still hope is true, honestly. <laughs> we can make it true. Yeah. <laughs> Colin, Colin confirm or deny. Oh, God, that was a good night. Oh, it was. Shit. Yeah. This Greg's going along pretty well. Oh, yeah, I should probably also mention you guys sent me gifts, too. It was awesome. Oh, I love those. Yeah. Wait, I yeah. sent you a gift? Oh, yeah. that was a mistake. Uh-oh, that wasn't supposed to ship to the address I clearly typed in. <laughs> Whoops. Sure James, does, you hacking my Amazon account again? You know, you know this Greg's coming out okay. I like it. Poor guy. You know me. Poor guy. Pat. Pat. pat <laughs> I, I only pat. hope that the Macho Man action figure I sent to you will be used for many a great vine. Uh, it's sitting on my desk right now. But actually, yeah. all your guys' stuff is sitting on my desk right now. Yeah. I'm looking at him. Like, oh, worth mentioning. Me. Worth mentioning. After like Colin calmed down after like some the surprise of me getting him a gift, his um, is reaction afterwards was to say motherfucker now I gotta get you something <laughs> bro bastard I told him that James was getting him something too and he's like god damn I'm gonna have to get you guys stuff now yeah I'm gonna send some stuff out to you guys here soon I just have to like make it you don't gotta do anything Sean no. well, I gotta find that tweet that he made the other day how does, how does the rock look like I can't remember what the eyes look like I'm gonna google it Rock fact. Oh, you know what? That'd be a fun prop to make. Sean, it's yeah. a rock fact. Her. That would actually be a fun prop to make. Have that sit on my shelf. Did he do that? No. Like, did he retweet that, though? Yeah, he retweeted it. <laughs> so what? I'm just browsing um, Colin's Twitter because I want to find that uh, that tweet he made. God damn it. How long ago was it? Oh, here it is. Just thought of a great gift for Pat. Too late. Smiling shrug to camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did see that. And I'm like, oh, shit. Patrick's in trouble. 
I love how the other day he was just tweeting pictures of bad Klasky Chupo character designs. <laughs> Which is all of them. <laughs> Roy Myers was we had like I, we had a long discussion about like Klasky Chupo and like how the character designs in like Rugrats or Ariel Monsters started off just kind of well Rugrats more so was just kind of normal looking character designs. It was just that they look kind of lumpy and dumpy. But yeah. like Unreal Monsters was kind of grotesque looking, but that was kind of the point. But then by the point where they got to like As Told by Ginger, Wild Thornberries, and Rocket Power, that was around the time when they started drawing raisin lips, is what we called them, and like the mouths at the very bottom of the chins, and like the eyes really small and really far apart, and like the character design just got worse and worse and so gross. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. It was like. What it, what was the decision there? Uh, personally, I blame Tony Hawk for Rocket Power. <laughs> that 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 Tony Hawk in Rocket Power is so fucking funny. I gotta look that up. Tony okay. Hawk Rocket Power. <laughs> this is not terrible. I should save it. Rig. It was Tony Hawk and Roger Bauer. <laughs> <laughs> I, ho I hope I hope the audience appreciates this that they're not yeah, seeing shit. Well, good job. Huh? Good job. Good job. Uh, uh, what is? Let me check. I think I'm only like one follower away from 800 followers on Twitter. Wonder if I can do it. Wow. Can I get one more person to follow me? Brag about it. Patrick's right now going to your account and unfollowing. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was telling yeah, my let's coworker. Be real. Words. One of those accounts is me twice because I'm also on the dual cast tour. Yeah, also Colin. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot your boy. Oh, shit. I guess I gotta like at least do some form of coloring on this. I remember like the day I created the Doodlecast Twitter and we like announced it and like retweeted it to our individual accounts. You said something like, "You can bet I'm never gonna log into that account." <laughs> never. I'm not gonna do it. You don't take responsibility. What you do it? Uh, I don't have to. Because you I haven't, do it. I'm irresponsible though. I haven't made a goddamn. I haven't updated our um. <laughs> our descriptions or tags for like the last five videos, and I need to do that. And I'm not mad about that because I don't check. <laughs> I'm gonna draw <laughs> something right now on the shirts, but behind that. Then you just create. I know what you're drawing. I know what you're drawing. That was a. What? Oh. I figured it out. Hover over it. Oh, it's a vector layer. Eh. You might as well just delete it and make. That one because it's a. What do I do now? This one? Yeah. Just, yeah. I think you lost it. There you go. You are so light handed. There you go. Okay. <laughs> it's just that vector layers work differently than raster, and I'm not as familiar with it. I've never used a vector layer. Not consciously. <laughs> well, vector drawing in Manga Studio is interesting, and I see possibilities for it. It's just, I'm, I know. How to work with ra raster layers a lot better. Let's see. So James, define the difference between raster layers and vector layers. You see, when a papa bear and a mama duck love each other very what the much. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you got any more art questions? Hmm. Let's see. I like that color, what but I think is, I want to dual it. What is something? you aspire to do differently in this coming year? Ooh. Like next Shit. year? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I like to, I'm trying to do a little more illustration type things with even like simpler backgrounds. Right. Just so I'm not doing like the same stuff over and over and over again. Like I'm trying to vary it up a little. Oh, that works. Yeah. Me, I just wanna, I just wanna finally start making a comic, just because, I don't know, 
I just want to do something consistently, and I want to tell stories and shit. Like, I want to exercise my writing abilities. So I want to do that. Mrs. Like that. Pencils. Mrs. Pencils. The teacher, who's possibly an alien. Spoiler, dude. <laughs> okay, so what color should this tree be? Let me pull back up my reference image. Yeah, when you asked that question, I was immediately like, fuck, I already did that for this year. My unofficial resolution with my art was to do more color and more traditional stuff. That's why I bought the Copics and the paint. Okay, so I got you. I guess in, in that vein, with some of the um, comic ideas I have, it's going to involve drawing more backgrounds, and for one idea, drawing cars. So I guess drawing outside my comfort zone? Well, that's something, I guess. Uh. Oh, I don't know, Rick. Oh, jeez, Rick. Uh. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Morty. Ah, uh, oh, jeez. These are, like, red. Ah, yes, this is okay. Now the boring part. Filling in all these tiny-ass little spots that the colors didn't get to. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Might as well be. You know, it's like the most boring part whenever I do a stream. <laughs> what if I went in and put an ad right there? <laughs> but then it comes back and the end, people still have to watch this. Yeah. I'm going to have to do it now. I'm going to have to do it. A second they, ad. You wanted they it. They lied. Wires. Yeah, this part's like fucking annoying because the way I ink, I don't consciously think this shit through. And even if I did, there'd still be spots I missed. Yeah, sometimes it's just unavoidable. There's probably a quicker way to do it, but yeah. Well, hell, the quicker way we found was that um, area scaling thing, so that when you drop the paint bucket, it goes a little bit over where the lines are. But even then, it still misses areas. You know, I have it set how I like to. So, like, even that's not like a good solution for me. I just get ready and fill in all these little ass pixels because it'll show when I do shading. Hey, Sean, I you know, know what's a fun thing to draw? Uh, cars. No, dead kids. Get it? Is that, that is kind of what I'm doing here, isn't it? Yeah, you're drawing a dead kid. A uh, dead it just child. occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> this child is dead. You're drawing a dead child. Oh, hey. We all got to draw a dead child at some point. Hey, remember on like our second or third doodle cast where you could not stop talking about a dead baby? I talked about for like two minutes. <laughs> two minutes straight. <laughs> Immediately after we that episode, you were like, maybe I shouldn't have talked about dead babies for so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, was, I figured we'd talk about like current events. <laughs> oh my god. The current event was... Oh, don't dead, watch our early episodes. The folks. dead child happened. James is already putting more effort into Chloe's tattoo than I ever will in the future. It's not difficult. You've got to like work at it. That's all. Yeah, that doesn't sound appealing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Says the guy who like wants this. to do a comic next year. I don't like, like this. It looks like I'm trying to do like some Dr. Seuss shit. Oh, yeah. And then you zoom out. It's like, nope, it's a dead child. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Episode title? Dead child? Nah, dead probably children. not. Oh, no, we should title it We Don't Talk About Dead Children. <laughs> the opposite of dead children. Yeah. Very much living adults. children. He's just sleeping. He's a sleepy boy. He's sleep. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, it ain't hey, work. Hey, work. Oh, hey, Jason. 
Thunderbroker. So I've been watching uh, quite a bit of Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, how did how did it take us this long to get to this? Okay, here's the thing: Am I watching ironically? Yes. Do I think it's a good, sh like a legitimately good show? No. Am I having a really good time watching it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh, it's like, it's so cheesy. It's almost hard to not have fun watching it. <laughs> oh, God, when I fill that in. What? Okay, look at that, and you see how I kind of like those eyes sketched yeah. out there? And you fill it in, and it's like, oh, hey, ditto. <laughs> it just looks like a ditto, yeah. How do I zoom oh. over here? Oh. Uh, wait a minute. I'll just do that. Okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Screen. Yeah, the one. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't watch it yet, but I guess that YouTube channel that makes the react videos, they made a YouTubers react to the Dog of Wisdom. Oh, they did. And I, I thought that was just a joke. You no, know, I kind of don't want to watch it. Because I, because I think people said that um, some people didn't like it, and I'm like, I don't want to hear these shitty people's opinions if they didn't like the Dog of Wisdom. It's like if you don't like that, I cannot talk to you. The only time I ever watch a YouTuber's react, any time I ever watch, it, is just because like, oh, Markiplier's on this. All right, yeah, I'll if watch someone, it. yeah, if someone you follow is on it, and then like he'll pop in a couple times, I'm like, well, that wasn't worth it. Yeah, it's like. I looked at the list of the people who, who were reacting to it, and I didn't recognize a single one of them. And I'm just like, God damn. It's like, you forget that like most YouTubers are like vloggers. People, people who are like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to twerk or whatever. And then make hey a guys, stupid Roger video. Klotz. <laughs> hey, hey, chumps. It's Roger Klotz. I'm telling you, you do a spot, and this isn't necessarily a compliment. You do a spot on Roger Klotz. I don't think so. <laughs> have you listened to yourself doing it? No, I'm gonna have to listen back. Shit, did I shade this work with black or did I do blue? Greg, I haven't started shading. I'm looking at my old work one I did. Motherfucker, thought I caught you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's a really See? good work. That's it, a really it's, good work. It's pretty good. I'm sorry. I think I did black. Let me try black. I can always change it blue anyways. Hey, funny. Okay, okay, maybe it is. Yeah, it's spot on. Okay. It's hey, spot, hey, spot funny. on. Hey, funny. Wanna touch our penises together? <laughs> oh, Roger, I've waited so long. <laughs> Meanwhile, I do, like, the worst Doug funny. I love your Doug voice, though. Your, hey, Patty. Hey, Patty. Want to see a dead body? That's how I warm up. <laughs> I like how when, like... This episode is dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's what John says. <laughs> Did that happen just now, or when we were talking about dead child? I just have to look down. Oh, yeah, there's no timestamp, so I don't know. <laughs> This episode is dark. Yeah, well, why are you watching it? Shouldn't you be working? <laughs> oh, snap. In this is a fucking Kong. reality show call out. Uh huh. I know where you're at. You told me. He's in Hong Kong. Yeah. There's still so many ideas I have for like finished like illustrations. But I just never get around to doing them. I need to like sketch out a couple of them so that I have some shit ready for Doodlecast. Yeah, well, I mean, we wanted to do this episode, but I didn't really know what to do. You didn't really know what to do. But I think it's turning into an okay episode. It's okay. I think James is saving it. James, I like what you're doing there. James. What you can do is you can just make another layer and put it beneath those color layers and just put in all the skin color so that you don't have to like risk ruining the tattoo. You do that real quick because I'm struggling here. <laughs> do you want me to? I'll just start. John here. says yes, but I'm bored as well. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. 
What happened to the skin color? It's gone. It's gone. Oh no. It's gone. Oh no. Damn, why is the razor so good? Right. Oh, okay. Yes, I think this oh. limb behind <laughs> him should be all in shade. Throwing shade. I think that makes sense. Zoom out. I'm going to close those lines and then color the shirt white. Oh, I see. Let's see. All right, so if my light source. Is am, I, am I your cleanup artist? Yeah. And I think. <laughs> I love that skull. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's awesome. You're, wow, you really simplified the shirt down to like its basic shapes. I love that. See, you have an artistic mind. Uh, I just like the skill. Um, see, you said skill, not talent. You got it. I know what art is. See, that needs to be fixed. That's on that layer. God damn it. I need a fucking. Oh, wait, I got this. Where's the eyedropper? There it is. Oh, and something I wanted to ask you to do as well. Yep. That eyebrow? Yeah. Let me let me see the colors. <laughs> that eyebrow, fix it. <laughs> That's what I thought he was about to say. Dump bucket. Whoops. Wait. <laughs> It didn't have it all right there. Oh, no. oh, I thought I was going to look over at your screen and like you replace Greg with Doug. <laughs> I should. I hate Doug. <laughs> Dead Doug. Did I did I threaten the life of Jim Jenkins on our last two episodes? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, man. Jim, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'll never stop you from living. To, yes. I, I won't stop you from living, but I'm not going to prevent your death either. Yeah, like if we're ever like in a situation, like I'm not going to jump in front of a bullet for you. Okay. What I need you to do? You see that? I wouldn't catch a grenade for you. Uh. <laughs> okay, you see that? Yeah. That eyebrow there, that's right there mm -hmm. in the middle of all that other darkness. Yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay. Boom. Boom. Get the thickness right. Okay. Wait. 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 Yeah. the part. Is it about what we're looking at, or is it supposed to be like in closer? Because now it looks really big. Yeah, I was about to say it looks. It's roughly the same size, just slightly larger and more arced, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Perfect. Zoom out some. Yeah, I don't like what. Like I want the eyes to be the blue eyes, but not like that. I'm gonna color them back in black and then do like mm -hmm. like a black outline around them. They look weird, just blue. Mm -hmm. I'll fix that then. Ooh. There we go. Eh, fuck it, I'll that somewhere else. Oh God! <laughs> what? It's just like the eyelids look super realistic. It kind of reminds me of a blobfish. Thank you. Do I do you not know what blobfish is? If you don't, look it up right now. You know what? I actually want to get rid of that because it's just too distracting. I don't like it. It's just that it reminds me of a dead child. <laughs> you know, that thing you're drawing. <laughs> What if we do a dual cast where I sketch something and then we have you ink and color it? Like on your own, not you suggesting <laughs> colors to me, like actually finish it. I was gonna say you're talking with James, because like we me and you totally did that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Patrick, we did that, you don't remember? Did that not mean anything to you? <laughs> did that mean less to during. you than it meant to me? So I guess there'd be like a little bit of a shadow cast underneath that. Maybe like that. I don't know. 
I don't know. I didn't know. I'm a stupid man. Morty! Morty, you have to come back with me. Man, geez, Doc, uh, go back with you where? To the future. Uh, well, why, Doc? Is, uh, well, why? Is, is there well, something, is something wrong with the on. future? Be, I guess that one. That. Are there... Okay, that's the one I did. That's on that layer. How do I fix that then? That's on the same layer with the tattoo. Well, go back to that one. This? The one with that? Yeah. Okay. You're on it. So if I change it back to... Yeah. How do I find out what color you use there? Here. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's hard to figure out like what parts of this I want to be kind of a sharp shadow. What parts I want to almost like diffuse. No, something that you're doing a lot, Sean, that's that makes me want to try experimenting with it with digital art kissing boys yes you draw a lot of or lately you've been doing like a lot of like i don't even know what specifically i guess like lighting and like i can only describe it as like bloom lighting i guess like oh i've been trying to like add a bunch of uh bright shit yeah you're making your drawings really shiny and it's yeah like, that that's very much intentional yeah it's like damn that looks good like that floor one the only reason i drew that was to do that Mm. Literally. Oh, I also really liked that um, Legend of Zelda Undertale drawing you did. Yeah, that one came out alright. I actually yeah. I, I re-uploaded it with a uh, watercolor paper texture I found online. Mm. I'll have to look at that. Yeah, I think it I makes think, it look a little better. Yeah, I think I only saw the original. But I still like the look of the original. Yeah, yeah, it came out alright. It was cool because it kind of it totally had like a children's about it. Whoa, yeah, that your audio glitched like shit there. Oh, really? Yeah, but yeah, go go ahead. I was saying it totally had like a children's book vibe going on about it. It looked really cool. Yeah, I, that one's all right. That was what? That was just yesterday. So that was during the day where it's like, okay, today isn't sucking. <laughs> Not exactly I how I this. felt Monday Do or what? Sunday. How do I fix this? Oh. It probably just needs to go on the layer below. So, so hold on. click the eyeball on that one so you can see what's on it. Or, or yeah, just add a new layer to be safe. <laughs> okay, what's the layer I just made? Here, you can always just click the eyeball and see if anything disappears or not. So I think that's the layer. What if I send this one to uh, Patrick McHale? He's just like, wow, thank you for drawing a dead child. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he made him dead. <laughs> Good job, man. Oh, I know he's all dead and shit. Fucking psychopath. <laughs> what if he just blocks you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'd be upset, but at the same time, that'd be too good. <laughs> I, I do think he's cool, and I love, love his show. I'm so happy Oops. to see that uh, Guillermo del Toro loved it, too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You, do, you do you not follow his uh, Twitter? I guess not. Yeah, he like a week ago. I wouldn't be so, alerted to him doing liking, though. Are you done? A week or so ago, he tweeted like a bunch of stuff praising over the garden. Yes. Probably, I guess. <laughs> Wait, so we know. We'll Turn it out and have Toro. it framed. It's going to be like an inch by two inches on this <laughs> canvas. Brush. I like that. That's cute. Oh, you got white. That's yeah. why. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That means there it is. <laughs> okay. So what right. if? Go for, Go for it, boy. Yeah, the idea of like an Undertale Legend of Zelda crossover is really cool. Did anyone else do that? I mean, I never looked. It's probably like it has to have been done, but. I've never seen it until now. 
I'm not gonna say like I was the first person because like it's even if I was, good. that's not that great of an it's accomplishment. It's like, oh, I'm the first person that mashed these things together. Yeah, well, you know what? I was also the first person to mash Guy Fieri, Shrek, and Paul Blart together. <laughs> the Holy Trinity. I was also the. First I love when person. you first did that. Okay. You go. Uh, go ahead. I, I like how when you first did that. <laughs> I like how when you first did that, like we were watching all the comments and like people would be like, "What has God wrought?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah, that's definitely what the thing I've done that's been seen by most people. I remember you were streaming one time and you were like, oh, and by the way, for those of y'all who don't know me, this is what I'm most known for on the internet. And <laughs> you brought it up. I always apologize, too. <laughs> All right, it would have been funny if like, you had just gained like some subscribers on Twitch and then you revealed that information and then people immediately like unsubscribed. That would be probably a wise back. decision. It's like, oh no! This asshole. It's probably on a different layer. <laughs> James is learning the hell that is layers. It's like ogres. <laughs> that was a good joke, James. Gogurt. What the fuck is a gogurt? <laughs> it's like gogurt. Oh, Doug. but I was gonna say I was also the first person to mash together Doug Sonic Chew, which is also Sonic the Hedgehog and <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> Great Doug Chew. Is that is that our the official name we're going with Doug Chew? Yeah, yeah, that that won the poll, probably because right. like I tweeted, "Hey guys, I prefer Doug Chew." <laughs> <laughs> Doug Chew. Well, if it means anything to you, Sean, I voted Doug Chew before it was cool. Thank you. I don't even know if I voted. <laughs> of course. I'm what's mm. wrong with this country. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. You tweeted at, or no, you didn't tweet at me and Sean, but you tweeted and just said our names about this Life is Strange collage thing. What is that? Yeah, I, mean, I tweeted uh, back with my drawing, but I don't know what it was. Uh, they were talking about it a while ago. That was just like a reminder thing, but I think... Uh, like as an appreciation to the fans, they're like trying to get together a bunch of like fan art and cosplay photos and make a big old collage about it. So, oh. any money? <laughs> um. Anyways, I was bringing that up because well, not only do I need to tweet mine at them, but I saw this one cosplay photo where it was so dead on, like they got the exact shade of Chloe's hair. Like, I see other people who got the cosplay more of, like, a a realistic shade of blue. Yeah. That would look more, like, like, if you were to dye your hair blue, that would be, a, like, a closer shade you would go with. But the one that this other person went with was, like, exactly how it was in the game. And it looked... It just looked so dead on. It was like looking at a real-life Chloe. It was, like, so fucking, like, God damn, that was good. That was good cosplay. Chloe well, is a really cool character design. Yeah. Okay, so I have like chicks with blue it? hair and tattoos. Am I right? You know, James I just don't, nodded approvingly. I don't hate this. I'm, I'm glad because it's good. It's good. I mean, that, good. that's all I have to say about it. Let's see here, I think I, and I think I like it a little darker. Okay. Let's see if I can do like a really quick background on this. Then we'll call like, it. Oh yeah, we've yeah. already gone over an hour. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. We, we skipped last wow. week. Number twenty minutes from my birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh my birthday. Oh my birthday. Let's see. Oh. So the work one. <laughs> we like Fortunately, I didn't save it. Like, 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 three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> just <laughs> click out. I didn't save it by layers. Layers. Let's so, see. Ogres or like, are like onions. I think. See. Yes. No. Dull tone. Oh, no. No. Dark grayish. No. Grayish. No. Did you Light shave that rock? 
Did you shade that rock? Oh shit, dude, you're right. You gotta dude, shade you, that rock. You saved it. I saved the day. I wanted you to shade that rock. Oh, Maybe it looks like a speech bubble. Yeah, right there. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, Dang, shade that. Boy. You Dang. did it. Damn, girl, you gotta shade that rock. Shit. Uh, that sounds like it's a drug reference. Shade that rock? <laughs> yeah. I don't do drugs, so I don't really know what that would be. And I assume crack? Crack or rock? I would assume crack cocaine? I'll take crack for 100. Show me crack. That is the absolute wrong game show. I was clearly doing Jeopardy. Um, that was the joke. Actually, I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so shut up. See, I feel the only way I can get away with being me on this show is just by calling myself out before you guys can. <laughs> Chloe right, J. Now that rock is shaded. Okay, I guess I'll just. Oh, I, thought, I thought you said rocket shaded. I think I want to do like grays because I'm going to desaturate these colors in post. Desaturate. God damn it, Patrick. Desaturate. Hey, you're listening to Jimmy and the Weasel, and we're the up next is our next segment called Desaturate. Jimmy. Desaturate. All right. Well, our first caller on the line. Uh, hey, uh, tell us your name. Oh, yes, uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, you are you ready? Are you ready to play? Yeah. All right. So, what, what do you got? You have to answer a trivia question. What did you do? I don't know. It's oh, uh, you got the blue wheel. Okay, it's gone. I don't know what it. Oh, it's Patrick, still gone. What the gone? hell were you doing there? Radio show host. I don't know why, but I'm actually kind of legitimately angry with you for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you usually don't need a reason to be angry with me. <laughs> I'm just like, I sat through it. It's like, oh, maybe you he's going somewhere know. with it. I don't no, I had judge. absolutely nothing. This is the purpose of improv. Why didn't you join in? <laughs> we didn't agree to anything. What? We didn't agree to anything. <laughs> That's on a different layer, James. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, Mom. Let's Don't tell me here. about my layers. I think I want to do some light blending. Aw, uh, Batman Sub-Zero. Or Scorpion, whatever. They're both the same. Original character, do not steal. Oh no, yeah, James, yeah. if you think if you think that this is going to work out in I your know favor... I know it's not. That's what I say. Well, also, you only have one layer selected. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You just gotta... Okay, Oops. here. Undo... But first. But first. Cancel. Yeah. Cancel. Okay. It, no? Just, no. Okay. I'm trying to do like some mist behind them. You need to shift. And I click the bottom layer. Oh, what are you trying to do? Merging layers? Oh, it doesn't work that. It's not like that. <laughs> so I want to merge those. Let's see. Is that it? Transfer to lower layer. Did that do it? I don't even know what that did. La, 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 la. I think that's the same amount of layers. Did that even do anything? Well, here's a question. There's like messed up colors hidden underneath there. If you merge layers, are those going to suddenly pop up? No. Everything that's on top supersedes what's on the bottom. So is that all you needed? I just want that. Just that. That to be one image. How much uh, how much space around it do you want? Not too much. Like, like that? Just like that. That's what you want. You want to. No. You want it to be a desktop background, right? No, like a phone wallpaper size. A uh, phone wallpaper size. Like. Oh wow! When I remove uh, my line art, it just looks like a shitty digital painting. I like it. I don't. <laughs> oh fuck you. Wow. Decide on what you want, and then I'll do it. Got it. What is this? So, like, what's your say? Nope, not doing that. All right. And 
Wait, select launcher settings. And we're live. Oh. That's interesting. I could probably make a crop shortcut. <gasps> there it is. I have a crop shortcut. There it is. Boom. Now it's right there. Crop. All right. Save it. Save it. We're good. No going back. As long as when you send it to me, it fits the phone and looks good. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it's really small. Well, actually, there's 100%. It might, it might work. Yeah, that might be fine. Because I thought it was going to be like this big in comparison <laughs> to like, yeah. I think I want to add like some glowy oh. shit. Sean. Yes, dear. My finished product. Dude, I love it. <laughs> is, I, I'm I'm 100% dead serious. That is adorable. <laughs> it's like you do have a definitive style. <laughs> If I put glowy shit in here, what should it be white or should I do like a light brown? Would that even work? Hmm. Make it a make it a green color so it looks like he's suffocated by farts. He's already dead. <laughs> You're adding fireflies around him? I guess so. It wasn't what I was think... going for, but you know what? I kinda like that idea, so there you go. Yeah, yeah Sean, I'll those colors work, I think. I'm sorry? Those colors you're using for those lights in the background? I Fireflies. Like yeah. Uh, where I come from, they're called lightning bugs. <laughs> so what if I put, like... Oh, wait, let's go back to the brush. Okay. Hey, we grew up... When we were kids, we were in different parts of the country, so... No. The little bugs that, like, roll up in the ball... Fireflies. <laughs> 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 I don't even know if I need to continue this conversation. Hey, does this work if I add these little little guys there? Or is it too distracting? Which ones? Uh, I added these little dots in the center. I think it's a little too distracting. Maybe. Not the one that was on top, but maybe the bigger one towards the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to remove them all. I think it gets its point across just like that. And yeah, then I can just... I like. Yeah. I can just uh, go in with the airbrush and. Well, what if you? Oh yeah, yeah. What you're doing there is definitely yeah, yeah. Just very subtly add some extra glow to it. Yeah. I was gonna suggest what if you did the dots, just add them like below the layer that those other that the first dots were on, so that they're not as intense. I could, but I kind of want them to go over top of all my artwork too. Okay. Because I, I can snag at edges. Yeah, that's kind of the problem of working small. <laughs> Always work big and then have it go smaller, but never go smaller and expect it to be bigger because then you're going to see yeah. all the little details. I knew that going in. <laughs> I knew I was playing with fire. Okay, but seriously, roly polies or pill bugs? Roly polies. I have, n like, I remember when I first heard pill bug, I was like, what the fuck is that? I looked it up and it's like, oh, it's a roly poly. What the fuck? No, the what best the, the best bug? one of those. I pretty sure this is the term. I'm probably a little bit off. But uh what do you call it when you like go in circles in your car in like a parking lot? Doing donuts, right? Sean? Yeah. Donuts. Apparently some parts of the country call them call them something along the lines of pulling wicked shitties or something like that. Wicked shitties? Something like that. <laughs> I do that. I do that in other areas. <laughs> Wicked shitties. Something along those lines. All right, we have to like. We have to confirm I this. Think in chat. I oh, chat. let me check the chat real quick. Yeah, chat. What are they called? <laughs> I'm probably the. Only, I'm probably that one viewer. So. <laughs> should I Google Wicked shitties or should I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing no anything. Wrong. I'm not seeing any suggested searches. I'm just gonna. Okay. Maybe it's whipping shitties. Whipping. Nothing's coming up. Oh wait. 
whipping shitties. Oh my god, whipping a shitty, a common pastime in rural village villages slash towns. The shitty itself consists of accelerating, or it's sorry, accelerating <laughs> a car as much as possible and cranking the wheel. This usually results in massive fun, melted rubber, and huge track marks. Using a truck makes the feat two to three times more authentic. By, I'm not gonna read that name, <laughs> on Urban Dictionary. Oh, okay. You guys just got another subscriber in your Doodlecast YouTube channel because I guess when I went there earlier to look at the stream, I unsubscribed somehow. Oh, because cool. I just went back now. I'm like, where are they? So I had to mm -hmm. manually search you. You are really good at keeping your YouTube, your private YouTube channel, a secret because it it doesn't show up in anything. <laughs> like you're not on our list of subscribers. That's the plan. Government can't find me if I'm not on any list. <laughs> Seven, we're seven minutes away from. I was just about to say, Doomsday. Sean, do you wanna you wanna wrap this up before uh, Patrick and Bass? I was saying <laughs> we should cancel. We should end it like a minute before it happens. Be like three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> eh, don't worry about it. It's Patty's birthday. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. Happy birthday, Patrick. <laughs> I mean, it's not yet, idiot. Alright, then don't have a happy birthday. <laughs> Alright, have a sad birthday. Yeah. You and your dead kid. Here's your here's your birthday present. Dead child. <laughs> you just happy. plop the sack on his doorstep and walk away. <laughs> oh my god. I hope that when you upload this to Tumblr, the t there's just one tag and it just says dead child. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Please don't. Why? You can't tell me what to do. I can't. I can only. Are. I can only make suggestions. Right, I'm gonna try to just add some brush to sort of hide right, the a, fact I didn't a, do anything there. Was this your birthday gift to me, allowing me to not draw on the Doodlecast, or is this your gift to the audience, <laughs> James? Look at me. James, please talk to me. <laughs> Oh yeah, James got me a uh, Yoshi's Woolly World and that adorable yarn Yoshi amiibo. Yeah, I know. He sent it to me. Yeah, the audience doesn't know Sean. He sent that photo to me. I am the audience. He, he asked me if I thought you'd like it, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, probably." I played it off pretty cool. I thought. Wait a minute! I thought you said that was the gift that well, you knew was, I would like. It was. A, both gifts were in the same picture, and I was referring to the other thing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you mean the Homer Simpson doll? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Whipping a shitty. Whipping a shitty. Can is that title? I don't know. It's probably going to be like a month before I ever get around to adding the description and tags and titles to this one. Only one title. If anything, of this uh, drawing I did, I'm proud of the shirt and the tattoo. Yeah. Even though they're very simplistic. I think you captured it. Did you do the tattoo by memory? It's not that hard. Oh, look at me. I'm James. I know how to draw tattoos. It's, <laughs> well, it's, it's there just colors. My phone. It's just colors. Patrick, don't make fun of I James. I didn't do a detail. <laughs> like, if I did a detail, I'd be like, fuck <laughs> that. Patrick, <laughs> drawing tattoos are too hard. James, it's just colors. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be right at this. I just want to, like, do this a little, just a little more. Well, that's fine. Take your time. Is it going to be like the beast in the background? Uh, I guess I could do that, huh? Yeah, I guess you could. If you weren't a chump. What the? <laughs> so are you going to sell... Hey, funny! Are you going to sell this and the uh, the other dude back-to-back -back art print? Yeah? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I would seriously buy a print of that word drawing you did the other day. I love that. I love that. I'm not, not that crazy about the dead child. <laughs> Sean, he's not dead. He's just resting. Yeah. Eternally. <laughs> he's sweeping. I'm just trying to like add a few little details in here so that way he gives an idea way. of uh, depth that I'm trying to fake. What about it? What if I take my blender? I normally hate my handwriting. Uh. Just blend that out. Yeah, it's it's on there or there? There. You did good, boy. Last thing I want to do, 
I'm gonna blend this shit out. Nice little crisscross folks. Well, you know, I'm trying to like apply some of that uh, those landscape digital paintings I've been doing to my regular artwork. Notice, it's good. I'm kind of doing what that. Oh, you know what? Shit. Um, do I have it saved? Fuck. Fuck. All right. Uh, one thing I do want to add to this, though, yeah, is uh, that watercolor. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been one week. Fuck. I, right. I think we're pretty good to stop this. I mean, I think off air I might add some more trees in the background, yeah. but. Oh, bro, do you know how many drawings I've just stopped after the dual cast and said, oh, I'll finish it off air and then never finished? Well, I mean, I'm going to finish it while I talk to you guys, probably. Uh oh, we got two minutes. Sean, where can yeah. they find you? <laughs> I'm on Twitter, <laughs> at Jetpack Ragged. I'm also on Tumblr, at Trunko. Also, I stream, usually on Sundays and Mondays, mostly, on uh, Twitch, Jetpack Bragging. Find me. Kiss me. Love me. Give me money. Or not. It's up to you. Patrick, can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at Yapat. They can find me on Tumblr at Yapat. They can also find both of us on Twitter at Doodlecast Show. James? James is here to usher in the final minutes of the last day Patrick will ever be 22. Ah, oh, fuck. And to do this... Oh no, what are you planning? I have prepared a little song. Don't get us content id So, the song goes like this. Now it's a